welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. And today's a very special day because it's my first time properly watching and analysing Iranian music. And we're going to be watching Mohsen Yegane. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this is the song, I promise you, the Het Gol Madame. Maybe my pronunciation isn't great, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm excited just to see exactly what this entails and how different it feels to the music that I know from the UK and to see what kind of different vocal techniques are used and maybe introduce myself to something a little bit different and hopefully just enjoy some great music. Are you ready to watch with me? Here we go. Sounds like brush sticks. Oh, cajon drum, loads of guitars, wow. Yeah. Already into this. How many guitars is that? Like six? Okay, so he's got really silky lower vocals, which I'm definitely always into. I love that the audience knows every word. I'm reading along with the captions, so I can see what the translation is, which is great. So, sounds like there's a bit of to and fro in this love situation. Ah. Do love me a little vocal turn, vocal agility straight away. There's a lot of that. Huh? It's like the vocal float. See, this is this is what we don't get a lot of in the UK. We don't get so much of the constant movement within a vocal, and that's what I'm really getting from this so far. I really like it. It's such a unique thing. We get vocal agility that's sort of placed in certain parts, but it seems to me that this is like a stylistic thing where it's placed throughout. I'm into that. Really strong, direct performance. Sat down as well. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Oh, little guitar break. After the first chorus. Again, that's different. following the melody that we've heard, which I like. Wow, whatever I knew about love you took from me. There's something about this as well which I find interesting structurally. I mean, we just had that little guitar break after the chorus, which is different in itself, but there's a constant movement, the instrumentation just continues throughout, so there's just this feeling that the song keeps going and going and going and the momentum pushes us forward. You know, when you listen to English pop music, there's more often than not a very clear kind of, here's the verse, maybe a little break and then woof into the chorus and then you come back down again into the verse. So it's really nice to hear something a little bit different and to soak in a different form, a different structure. It's such a beautiful language. Oh. That was stunning. That was vocally stunning. First of all, I was impressed with his dynamic control just coming down, 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 and then woof, he just hit it there you know, straight in with the forte, just kind of grabbing us. Very straight delivery in his vocals. And then the vocal agility. Loved that. Let's listen to that again. Wow. 
love the bass as well. This point. That's the first point of the song where I've seen him really enjoying himself. I'm sure he's enjoying the whole thing, but just seeing it in his eyes, you know, that, that thing that you get where you see someone on stage and you know that they are vibing with their performance. <laughs> Fantastic breath control to get through all these really difficult phrases. Into another guitar solo. Don't you think it's interesting how he has lots of guitars surrounding him and nothing's taking away from the other. Everything is complementary, everything is building in the right way. There's this sort of acoustic -y element to everything because you've got the cajon drum. Uh, I saw on the stage, I mean, I wonder what other songs he did in this concert because I can see all the different types of drums and basically I can see how musical he is and his whole setup is. And it's, you know, it's just a refreshing change to see something that is out of the ordinary for me uh, on stage. And I love seeing all these guitars. It's amazing. This is a real treat. Shaker as well. Woo! Okay. Everything is so complimentary. It always has that sort of brush stick effect with the drums. And they're all enjoying themselves so much, you can see. Oh. <laughs> what does this communication mean? I love seeing the communication between band members on stage. There's that chemistry. Structure wise, I'm kind of taken with this whole thing. Woo! Love that. The seventh. Okay. Lyric melody arranged by him. Wow. He is very talented. Not only does he write the music, sing it, but he also arranged everything. Kudos. Kudos to you. That was really impressive. And as I say, just something totally out of the ordinary for me and refreshing and I, I, I'm really just taken with the structure of the song and how different that was and the way that he was able to demonstrate not only vocally what he's capable of but also instrumental wise you know woof his guitar skills they are something else so I really enjoyed that as a first lesson I'm impressed. What do you guys think? What else should I be listening to? Let me know in the comments box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can of course find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find links to my own music, my Wizio page, where I can help you out with your singing and answer any questions you might have with a personalized video response. My Spotify playlist healing hits and my merch in the description box down below. I'm sure you can probably see my cushion back there. That one's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Just poking out, poking its head out. Uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Love ya. Bye.